Hello, hello YouTube. In this video, we're going to be looking at the basics of liquid, specifically operators. In liquid, there are both logical and comparison operators. You have your basic operators that you would expect, ex expect in any programming language, such as your equals, not equals, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, greater than or less than, and an or. Liquid also has a contains operator. And we're also going to talk about the order of precedence for these operators in liquid. So without talking much more, let's get into the code and we'll take a look at how we can use these operators in the liquid templating language. Okay, so for the basic operators in liquid, we can use any of the operators that you would expect in a typical programming language. There's also some specific operators which we'll look at and then also how the order of operators is taken into account with the liquid templating language. So first off, I'm just going to type some code in here on the browser editor that I'm in for my development Shopify store. It's just a brand new development Shopify store with the debut theme installed and I'm working on the page.liquid which is your default template for any page that's not the home page. I have a live preview window open here that you can open up by clicking this preview button and I've navigated to the about page so then anytime I add something to this page template it will update in my page here. So we can test that out if I just say hello world and save that you'll see that it appears in my template on the right. So for this demo, and so I can show you the basic operators, I'm going to use the syntax in liquid for doing control flow. So we say if inside of a curly brace and a percent symbol, and then we're gonna close that if by saying end if, and then whatever we want inside of our if can go between these two tags. Okay, so here we're gonna say if true is equal to using the equals operator, true we'll just say hello world and if i save that of course hello world is going to stay there because true is equal to true right and if i change this to be false and i save that we'll see that hello world disappears because this is no longer true now you can say not equals to which is another operator and if we save that true is not equal to false so our text comes back into the page so you can see Using these operators, we can control what content appears in our page and what content does not appear in our page. Now, along with the equals and not equals, you also have your typical greater than or less than. So we can say if five is greater than three, show um, it's greater than. And we'll see it says it's greater than, right? And if I say is I don't know, two greater than three, it's not going to show anything because this will not show the content between these tags since this is now false. All right, I could say is two greater than or equal to three. Again, not going to show anything, but if I say is three greater than or equal to three, then it will show greater than or equal to. We could say or equal to, All right? And then it'll show greater than or equal to. Same for less than or equal to, right? You can do that. Um, and yeah, so you have your greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and you also have your less than. So we can make this a less than as well. Now, with all of those basic operators, you also have the logical or and the logical and, right? So we could say if three is equal to three and seven is greater than five, for example. Okay, and then we'll just put something here saying it's true, right? And it's going to say it's true because three is equal to three and seven is greater than five. Now, if we put you know, three here, three is not greater than five. And so since one side is false and we're using the and, it's not going to show anything. If I then change this to be an or, it will show it's true because only one side needs to be true for an or statement, right? Now, if we wanted to chain a bunch of these together, we could also do that. So I could say this or this and um, and then we could put over here, let's say, Brayden is equal to Bray, right? Now, if I save this, it's still going to show it's true. And the reason it shows it's true 
is because this one statement right here is true. Okay, now you might think, okay, well, if three is equal to three, that's true, and this three is less or greater than five, that's false. So we have a true here from this or, and then if true and false, well, it should be false, right? No, because when liquid evaluates multiple logical ors and logical ands in the same statement, it will always evaluate from right to left. Okay, so that's important to know that the order that it evaluates things in is from right to left when you're using multiple ors and ands. So it's gonna go from the right, it's gonna say this here is false. So false and this here is also false, that's false, right? But then it's gonna go false or true. It's gonna say, okay, this is true. So we finish off with the or and because you know one side only has to be true for an or, we get a truth here. Okay, so that's something to pay attention to when you are working with liquid operators. Now, there's one more operator that you can use in liquid and it's sort of a special operator. It's if we wanted to check here and see maybe Bray is inside of Braden and that's all we care about. If we wanna check that, then we can simply say if Braden contains Bray. And then we can say here, Bray is in Braden. Right, and this will print out because Bray is a substring of Braden. Now, if I were to change this to say Bob, right, it's not gonna print out because Bob is not a substring of Braden. Okay, so that's also an operator that you can use, sort of a specific operator to the liquid language, and it allows you to check for substrings in strings, which can be super useful in many different scenarios. Thanks for sticking with me through another one of my liquid tutorial videos. If you enjoyed this video, or if you have feedback, please leave a comment down below because I love to hear from you guys. Don't forget, if you wanna stay up to date with the latest tutorial videos that I'm releasing, you can subscribe. And if you really enjoyed this particular video, hit that thumbs up button on the video. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next one.